I still have questions that only Neil Armstrong himself can answer. So I traveled to Cincinnati, Ohio, where he now lives. All right, five till two at 700 WLW. Mike McConnell, guest again, uh, Mr. Aaron Raynan. We got a documentary film trying to prove we went to the moon. It's not all that easy to do, apparently. Uh, our lines are jammed. Everything with the Neil Armstrong hotline, which today only is 749-3700. You have about five minutes left, Neil, to check in if you can. Donna, how are you? I believe we went to the moon. What proof do you have? Well, I don't have any, but I just, in my heart, I believe that we did. And I don't think the American government would be, would think that the American people would be that stupid. What have you uncovered, Aaron? Uh, well, I am trying to prove it. And really, I can't find any hard evidence. But I'm, I thought it was going to be an easy thing to prove. Suddenly, we it's have... It's not all that provable. It's not that provable. With no luck at the radio station, I head to Wapakoneta, Ohio, birthplace of Neil Armstrong and his boyhood home. Did you know Neil Armstrong? I don't want to make any commitments. Oh, have you met? You knew Neil Armstrong? What was he like? Nice guy. Can I talk to you about it just for a sec? I don't think so. I'm busy right now. Okay. I'm sorry. Did you ever meet Neil Armstrong? How would you describe Neil? I have no no words for that. I don't know who you are, so I'm not there. Hit the town. I just met him. You met him. Why are people putting up a wall between me and Neil? I decide to try to learn more about this town. The most redneck in brown in inbred town in America. Inbred. St. Mary's. Yeah. Mary's is in bread. Wallpark's just a bunch of rednecks. The KKK used to run this town at one time. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they, they said a sign that said, right. said uh, if you was black, don't, don't let, let the sun shine on your back. I ain't going to Wallpark. There are a bunch of rednecks there. They'll kill me. It was legal to beat up blacks yeah. after dark, if you were out after dark. You call them after dark, you're about to I think it's just been in the last couple years black people started coming to Wallpark. Yeah. Pretty much. There's like one or two families, that's about it. <laughs> There's yeah. no blacks in Walpole. No. There, th th people wouldn't know no. where they're, uh, they're, who they are. We used to have a news outside of town back in the 60s that said, mm -hmm. you caught in town, you're dead. I mean, a news yeah. for blacks. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we're here in Wapakoneta, and uh, I've met, I guess, you're one of the two black people that live here, or how does, how does it work? Yeah, I'm about one of the, I've seen another black person here. I mean, I haven't actually come in any contact with them, so... You know, is there I, like two black people in town then, or I'll say three, three total that I've seen, including myself. Now I'm learning more than I want to know about Neil's hometown. I'm on my way through the cornfields of Central Ohio to the Armstrong birthplace, the Armstrong house. Strange, well maintained, with a ham radio antenna on the roof. Who is living here now? What is the secret of Neil Armstrong? Why won't he or his friends talk? What is going on here? I look for Neil everywhere, including here at this observatory atop a neighbor's garage, where as a boy he first studied the planet he was destined to one day walk on, allegedly. He had a nice personality. He had a nice personality, yeah, but he was kind of yeah. quiet. I mean, he never liked to he brag about He never liked to brag. He never liked anything. to brag about anything. Yeah, we're proud of him. <laughs> I happen on the fact that Neil played in a local band. I tracked down one of the original members of this group, who has just returned to retire here in Wapakoneta. I got this out this morning. It hasn't been out of the case for four years, five years. I play clarinet and baritone sax and bass clarinet mostly. <laughs> We had this little German band, it was called the Mississippi Moonshiners. And Neil played baritone and tuba. He played the tuba? Yeah, he played baritone horn and tuba. We had lights, it would blink on and off and on and off, and it would spell out Mississippi Moonshiner. Neil made that for us. We used to make model airplanes and fly them out of his window. We would tighten up the band on them, the old model that you put the paper around. And then 
we'd set them on fire and see how long they would last, and the neighbors would get mad at us. Do you think Neil could have been part of a hoax like that? That's the first that's ever been brought to my attention. Anyone that believes that must have a lot of oatmeal in their head. If you could say something to Neil right now, what would you say to him? Where in the world have you been? What all have you done? Tell me. I'd, I'd really like to know that.